Hey curl friends, so today I'm going to show you guys how I highlight my natural boss lady kinky curly clip-ins. This method is beginner friendly and you're just going to need a few items. You'll need some hair coloring foils as well as developer either cream or liquid, lightning powder, preferably the tonal powder in violet, as well as a measuring cup, a trash bag, and of course a mixing bowl and applicator brush. So like I said, I'll be using my Natural Boss Lady clip-ins. They are about a year old. Whether you're highlighting your own hair or some clip-ins, make sure to detangle before you start to make the application process much more easier. So you want to cover up your space, whichever space you're gonna be using to highlight these clip-ins, you want to make sure you put down some type of plastic to protect the surface. So now we're gonna go ahead and start mixing our lightener as well as our developer. Mix according to the instructions on your lightener. So for this, I'm going to be mixing one cup of lightener to 15 milliliters of 30 volume pure white developer. The directions start off with two scoops, but I like to under mix to make sure that I'm not wasting any product whatsoever. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all together. You want to get a nice pancake consistency. Now if you see it rocky like this with the powder just sitting at the top, just continue mixing. It will oxidize and become a nice pancake mixture. Do not add more product to make it more creamy. So as you can see, it has a nice creamy consistency. If I were to flip this bowl over, it will not drip. So now I'm going to go ahead and lay out all of my clip-ins. This is one full clip-in set of 16 inch kinky curly clip-ins. And I'm going to start with the largest clip-ins first. So you're just going to pull random pieces of hair, not too close to each other, just about a strand apart. You want to be sure not to pull any types of strips of hair too, too close together. That way you don't end up with any types of blocks of hair. So as you can see here, I went ahead and pulled those strands of hair and I'm laying them out onto the foil. And I'm just going to use my applicator brush to apply the lightener developer mixture. And this is what's going to lift that hair to a nice, beautiful blonde that you guys saw in the intro. Be sure to evenly coat this hair. You want a nice, generous amount of lightener on this hair to make sure that you're getting every single strand. Feel free to pull the hair apart to make sure that you're getting both the front and the back of the hair covered. And then I'm just going to fold the left and right sides to allow it to oxidize and process. And I'm just working this mixture all the way up to the root of the clip-ins and then I just went ahead and sealed it off. Just a quick tip when highlighting or coloring any kind of hair, be sure to apply the product vertically versus horizontally. When you apply the product horizontally or across the hair, it will leave a blunt line. When the hair lightens or it colors, it will color in that blunt, blunt line. You'll have that nice, strong line going across the hair. Whereas if you flip the brush the vertical way, it will leave nice, natural looking strokes. So now moving on to my second set of four clip clippings. And like I said, I'm just going to continue doing this process. Now I ran out of lightener, so I went ahead and mixed a second bowl of lightener as well as developer. If you prefer to, you can mix exactly what you will need in the beginning so you won't have to stop and remix, but I like to save on my product. I don't like to waste product, so I just mix as I go. And as you can see, I'm putting the hair off to the side. I let the actual hair strands hang, and I leave the aluminum foils on my tabletop. Lightener causes the hair to swell, so the hair will end up swelling and the product will end up moving upward towards the root or the clip-in. So I wanna make sure that if the product does shift, it does not get onto the other strands of hair. That's why I separated the aluminum foils from the actual hair strands. So we're all complete and I use 30 volume developer. So I just let it sit for about 25 to 30 minutes to finish processing. And I'm just going to take the clips and flip them over using the aluminum foil side. And I'm just going to check on them. Remember as we laid the clips down, we were laying them on top of each other. So the bottom half will be the ones that we did first. Those should be processed first. So you'll notice that the bottom half has the brightest blondes. So as I wash the clip-ins, I want to make sure that I am shampooing the bottom sets that I did first, first, and then the ones that I just did, I will wash them afterwards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shampoo these clip-ins and you can already see the beautiful blonde highlights. 
and there's no need for a toner because the actual lightning powder that we use in the color violet actually tones and lifts in the one process. And now I'm gonna add my conditioner and detangle rinse that out and we're good to go. So it's that simple and easy. I took this hair from a nice, beautiful dark brown all the way up to a beautiful highlighted blonde clip-ins. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out the description box below for a link to these clip-ins that I used today as well as all the products that we used today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.